Hi, I'm Julie Foudy, next to freshly minted bronze medalist, American skier Julia Mancuso. And Julia, prior to Monday, you had only raced in one super combined, hadn't done the slalom, and yet you get a bronze medal. How do you do it? Um, I mean, I knew I could do it. It was definitely a little bit of a challenge and a mental challenge because I wasn't confident in the slalom at all. I knew that I could just do my best and try to make it to the finish and that's really all I wanted to do was make it solid to the finish line and yeah I was really surprised actually that I could get a medal. But what's the secret sauce? You say I'm not confident, <laughs> I haven't raced it, like how Olympics after Olympics, this is your third, fourth, sorry this is this your third or fourth? Fourth, yeah. Olympics after Olympics, what is the secret sauce? How do you keep doing it? Uh, I think it's just a lot to believe and the Olympics are special, anything can happen. In our sport, in ski racing, you're dealing with the elements, you're dealing with the weather, and it's not so cut and dry, black or white, who's going to win. There's so many different things that come into play, and I just remember that anything's possible, and if I can go and just have two great runs, or one great run, or just believe in myself and push myself to the limits and focus on getting to that finish line, then good things happen. So many variables, you said. Lucky underwear, play into that? <laughs> yeah, the lucky underwear, definitely. Um, play a little bit into it. I, I, I believe in luck. I think anything can be lucky. Um, <clears throat> what is what is the background on Kiss My Tiara in the underwear line? <laughs> well, I mean, my coaches gave me a tiara before the Torino Olympics, and I thought it was really funny to wear because I didn't wear a helmet in slalom at the time, yeah. which now I know better to wear a helmet all the time because it's definitely safer. But I wore it for my coaches, and it actually really came from Peekaboo Street telling everyone, telling all of America that I needed to lose the tiara. So I came up with Kiss My Tiara and got a gold medal. Speaking of your gold medal, you have four medals now, most decorated U.S. female skier ever. How many Americans do you think know that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's pretty cool. I just love being able to add a medal to my collection and yeah, I feel really honored to be able to be with a list of, uh, you know, a small few. Bodie Miller is the person that I have to try to get more medals than now and I think that's pretty cool. But when people talk about skiing, you hear often Lindsey Vaughn, you hear Peekaboo Street. Are they going to start hearing more about Julia Mancuso? Um, well, I, I mean, I have my medals now, so hopefully they'll follow my racing and cheer me on. It's, it's a lot of fun, and I just ski because I love it, and I definitely ski to collect medals, and those other racers have done an amazing job on the World Cup, and I definitely look up to them, too. And, yeah, I just, I'm happy that I can contribute to my part of the Olympic legacy with medals. You, you recently said that you had a fear recently that you had a fear when you were standing on top of a hill looking down and going 80 miles per hour. Is that a common occurrence for skiers or is that a new emotion? Uh, I, downhill is really difficult and I think sometimes it happens. Sometimes you get in the start and there's a little bit of fear and that just spikes the adrenaline and makes you focus more. But if you don't let it spike your adrenaline and you just still stay a little scared, it's really tough to charge down the mountain and go fast. So. I was able to overcome that and I think it's just more about being comfortable and wanting to go fast. And Yeah, how did you overcome it? Uh, I guess repetition and skiing and actually my little sister came over and was free skiing with me for a little bit in Austria and she hasn't been skiing a while because she lives in LA and um, she's actually a singer but she <laughs> was charging down the mountain and I was really impressed because I was thinking, this girl has absolutely no fear. She was hucking herself left and right, and unfortunately, she broke her back while doing that. She went a little too fast into a compression and ended up getting helicoptered off the mountain. But uh, that was only a month ago, and she's here now. So <laughs> that was wow. a big part of me kind of letting go of my fear and just knowing like all the people around me, everyone believes in me and they can do it, and watching her just go for it helped inspire me. <clears throat> on Wednesday, on top of the hill, when you're looking down for your downhill race, what's the last thing you think of as you're standing there? Um, I actually try not to think about anything. I think of all the things that make me really happy, and that's love, and I think of 
actually I think of surfing because it's completely different and I caught an amazing wave this summer. I imagined myself out there on the wave and um, my yeah, family and love and then I just clear my mind and go for it. What do you want Americans to be thinking as they watch you? Um, I want Americans to be thinking of gold and smiling. I think the biggest thing for me is smile jewels.